Hello everyone, my name is Malik Nejad and today in this video I'm gonna install Rancher Desktop as a solution for building and running container images and also running Kubernetes cluster locally on Windows operating system. Let's start by googling this subject how to install Rancher Desktop on Windows by click on search from the results click on this one this is the official website of Rancher Desktop it's going down and as you see here for installing on Windows we need some requirements as you see here Rancher Desktop require the following on Windows Windows 10 build 1909 or higher let's check our Windows from here check Win version as you see here our build version is 19045 so it's higher than the requirement so this is okay in the second line, it is written running on a machine with virtualization capabilities. Normally, the recent computer have these capabilities and you can enable it in BIOS. And the third one is persistent internet connection, that is okay. So, the next requirement, Rancher Desktop required Windows subsystem for Linux on Windows. If you don't have already installed on your computer machine don't need to install it manually but if you have installed it before you can integrate it with Rancher desktop also recommended to have a minimum 8 GB of memory and 4 CPU core one of the other important requirements that we need on our computer is WSL version 2 normally by default or Windows has WSL version 1 and we should update that to version 2 let's install WSL version 2 so I google this one upgrade WSL version 2 and from the result I click on this one and from here at first we should enable Windows subsystem on Linux so I will follow these steps copy this command for enabling WSL I open PowerShell as admin privilege and copy the command here okay done let's back to documentation okay for running WSL2 we need Windows version upper than 1903 that I showed you before we have the latest one so we need to enable virtual machine feature copy this one back to command and run this one good it's complete successfully let's continue on documentation step 4 download the Linux kernel update package by click on this one download it let's check it here double click on it and done the next step we should set WSL2 as a default version so copy this command back to PowerShell terminal run this command good it's done let's continue here if we need to install one of the supported Linux distribution by Windows we can install it manually but as you saw in Rancher documentation Windows sub Linux will automatically install as a part of Rancher and we no need manually install it but if we need to download and install it manually we can do it from the Microsoft Store we can download it here let's show you how just going to Microsoft Store and from Microsoft Store for example type Ubuntu and the latest one is version 22 and we can get 
and install it on our computer. But we leave it as is and let Rancher install it for ourselves. Let's back to our story and going to the Rancher desktop website. From the main page, you can download it for Windows. As you see here, there is a version for another operating system like Mac and also Linux, but here we're gonna use it for Windows. So by click on it and it will start to download. As you see, I have downloaded it before and double click on it to be installed. Agree and going to be installed. As you see, Rancher desktop installed on my computer. Let's double click and run it. As you see here, it is installing the K3S. It's related to Kubernetes and other services. And going to start WSL environment, it takes some time to bring up all services. Now starting Kubernetes, all services are up let's check images so all the images that using for kubernetes are here from taskbar from here right click on rancher desktop and click on per references from here click on wsl as you see we don't see any name of Linux distribution that we supposed to be installed here. It seems Rancher didn't install any of Linux distribution on our computer and we should do it manually. Let's cancel this one, cancel this one, open browser and back here from the Microsoft store we can download the desired Linux distribution that we want. Let's open Microsoft store and from the search just type ubuntu select the latest one and get it it's going to download it and install it on our computer it's ready let's open it as you see here installing okay so here ask for username i give it a username and a password so it is ready after install your linux distribution it is better to close it and also close the rancher desktop and from here close it completely and rerun rancher desktop let's click here and from wsl as you see the ubuntu is automatically selected and from the container engine you check container engine B as docker D. Cancel. Now open the PowerShell. Open it as administrator. From here type WSL-L-V. As you see, Rancher desktop is running under the WSL version 2. And Ubuntu 22 also running as, as under WSL version 2. Let's back to Ubuntu terminal, type Ubuntu, open terminal here, let's bigger a screen, here type docker, as you see here docker has not been installed so let's go and install it by running this command, before installing docker let's update the packages, okay now let's install docker yes let's run docker version the latest version was installed as you see here it seems there is permission denied let's run docker ps yes my username has no permission to run docker services if i uh, switch to root and run docker ps it works all the containers you see here related to rancher desktop kubernetes so let's exit from the root and check how we can fix this permission let's clean the screen 
again Docker PS and copy this one and Google it to find a solution. I search this error with adding WSL at the first of it, just search for this one. And from the result, I select on this one. And at the end of this page, there is some steps that will solve our issue. So we need to run this command one by one in Linux terminal. Let's back here. Okay. And the last two one. After running all the commands, it is better close the terminal and bring up it again and run docker ps. Yes, it works. So at the moment we can play with docker commands and bring up every container that we like. Let's clean the screen and test Kubernetes cluster connection with kubectl command. With kubectl command, we can connect to Kubernetes cluster. Let's test. It seems kubectl also not installed. Let's go into Google and find how to install it. In Google, I search install kubectl and select the ones that show us it is official website of Kubernetes. Click on it. And from here, install kubectl on Linux. Then there are some steps here. We should follow them. Let's follow them. And let's check. As you see here, it was installed. Let's cube CTO get nodes. Yes, it show us the nodes that are in service. And let's run cube CTO get pods capital A. As you see here, all the pods related to cube system namespace are up and running. As you saw in this video, we have installed Rancher Desktop on Windows 10 and integrated it with Windows sub Linux. Arrive at the end of video. I will appreciate if you put your feedback at the comment below. Thank you so much. See you soon.